Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan, nice to meet you, nice to see you. How you doing, how's it going? Today's video is going to be my top five favorite Amika products and why. I talk about Amika a lot on Instagram in particular. I know that Instagram and YouTube are totally separate beasts and the audiences are completely different as well, but I wanted to create this as just a director. I'm gonna just direct people over here. Um, people are always asking me what if if you could try one thing from Amika, what would it be? And so here's gonna be my top five. Disclaimer, I am an ambassador for Amika, but like honestly, I've been using and loving their products for way longer than I've been an ambassador for them. So even though I know that people view um, videos like this in a certain light, when people are ambassadors or affiliated with the brand in some way, I just wanted to throw that out there. So just so you know, that is a fact, but also I'm not lying and I really do love and use all of these products. Okay, so we're gonna start off with wet hair. Um, this is the Amika Reset Exfoliating Jelly Shampoo. You get this exclusively at Sephora, I think. I know that it is either, it's either exclusive to Sephora and just sold, or it's either exclusive to Sephora or it's just sold out on Amika's website right now. But um, this is my second bottle of this and I don't think I can ever live without it. I, when I saw that it wasn't available on their website, I actually had a mild panic because I felt like, oh, maybe they, maybe this was like a limited release and they're not going to restock it. But I think that I'm wrong and I think that it's just exclusive to Sephora. This is the best scalp scrub I have ever used in my life. It is like a clarifying shampoo and a scalp scrub all rolled into one. And I am utterly and completely obsessed with it. So this, I hesitate to like really reference as a shampoo because I personally don't think it's suitable to use if you wash your hair like every day or every other day, especially if you have color treated hair because it has salt in it. This is more of a treatment in my eyes. I use it once a week as like a deep shampoo clarifying treatment type situation to really remove all of the buildup from my roots, stimulate my scalp, really get things clean and reset them, if you will, as the name would suggest. I love this. I talk about it all the time. When I use it, I really feel like it removes all of the grime, all of the buildup. I have fine hair, so I use hairspray and texture spray. I also use dry shampoo because I don't wash my hair very often. Um, and this really is effective at cleaning the roots in the scalp. And I feel like it gives me volume. I just feel like it's an excellent product. I don't think I could ever live without it, genuinely. I'm obsessed. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, some people have asked like how to apply it without you know, putting it on wet hands and causing the salt to dissolve before it even reaches the scalp. Hold on, mine's a little bit messy because I've been using it. It's got this little nozzle, so the way that I apply it is I like part my hair. I do three parts, and then I do it on the back of my head, um, and I apply it directly to the scalp as opposed to putting it in my hands and then applying it to my scalp. So that, you know, kind of gets rid of the factor of the salt maybe dissolving before it even reaches your scalp. Next is another forever favorite, the Velveteen Dream Smoothing Balm. This was particularly helpful for me during the summer when it was really, really humid and my hair was just a puff. I had a lot of frizz going on. The ends of my hair are quite dry, so I, I don't know what that means in, in relation to humidity, to be completely honest, but during the summer, my hair is like a puff ball and this helped a lot with keeping the ends and the lengths smoothed. And again, it's winter, static season, um, the dryness has really gotten to it. And I feel like this, it's a smoothing balm and I feel like it's got sort of a hydrating factor that kind of counters the dryness of my hair because I have not had the super staticky issue this winter. And I think that it's because I've been using this. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's great if you have frizz. It's great if you have dry ends. It's great if you just have an issue with your ends looking raggedy or unkempt. It's just really, really nice. And it has that traditional Amika smell. It's very, very delicious. And it's not super heavy. Next is the Blockade Heat Defense Serum. I am obsessed with this. 
You can use this on wet or dry hair. So if I'm planning on blow drying, I'll use it when my hair is wet. If I let my hair air dry, which is often what I do, I'll use it on my dry hair before I curl it or straighten it or whatever the heck I'm doing to it at the time. This is so lightweight. It's amazing. Now it is a serum. It's not technically an oil, although it does have kind of an oily texture, which I think is what contributes to the lightweight nature of it. You can, I swear, I've put like 15 pumps, not literally, I put like five, five literally on the ends of my hair when it's dry and it's not heavy at all. It doesn't weigh things down. It doesn't leave a sheen. It doesn't leave my hair looking greasy or anything. And while obviously like I can't measure the amount of heat damage my hair has, I feel like it does a pretty good job at protecting. I've waffled between heat protectants for a very long time just because, you know, like if they're sprays and they're liquids, it's really easy to concentrate too much in one place. And the thing I like about a serum -y type heat protectant is that you can put it on and then you can comb and it's a lot easier to get a more precise application than it is with a heat spray. Now on dry hair, I've talked about this about 27 million times. It's the Undone Matte Volume and Te Matte Volume Texture Spray. Volume and Matte Texture Spray. I just call it a dry texture spray. This is my favorite dry texture spray, probably of all time. Um, it's really like if a hairspray and a dry shampoo had a baby and lost the dry shampoo part, like the shampoo part of the dry shampoo. Uh, it's sort of like a light hairspray. That's the way I like to think of it because they do provide a little bit of hold. They do give your hair that grit, that body um, that kind of lacks for people who have really fine hair, which is the, the demographic of people that I would recommend use a texture spray. I don't know, like if you have really dry hair or really coarse hair or really, really, really thick hair, I don't know how this would fare for you, but I have fine hair. I actually do have thicker hair, but it is quite fine in texture and this works beautifully for me. So basically the way that I use it is I'll like spray it on the roots and give it a little waffle, a little massage, um, or I'll spray it on the lengths and the ends of my hair if my hair is like freshly washed just to give it more texture because if I don't apply something like this to my hair, it literally just, it's just like noodles. It falls all over the place. It's insanely difficult to keep out of my eyes. And in those situations when I don't do something like that, I end up getting really greasy bangs because I can't stop pulling my hair out of my face. So this really helps me with that issue. And it also gives a little bit of lift, a little bit of body, a little bit more texture. As you can see, my hair has a little bit of a PC type texture. It's more like beachy. Normally, if I don't use anything on my hair, it's just baby hair. Like it's literally just the finest baby hair. There is no texture to it whatsoever. So I love, 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 love this for that. And number five, last but not least, probably the cult favorite product from Amika is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is one of my absolute favorite dry shampoos of all time. I've repurchased it a long time, a long time. I've repurchased it a lot of times. It's great. It's a beautiful product. This was actually the very first product that I used from Amika way back in the day when Birchbox first came out. I had a subscription and they sent a little mini in their, um, in one of the monthly boxes. And I ended up loving it so much that it just became my favorite dry shampoo. And you know, over the years I've used tons and tons and I have a couple of others that I do really love, but this is the one that I reach for the most often. I love the packaging of all their products. First of all, it's just beautiful. I love the scent of this. It also does not leave any residue. It's quite light, but it does its job really well. And if you're looking for a dry shampoo, this is a great one. I mean, so many people love and use this. I, you know, don't just trust me, go read some reviews. Although, you know, people pay to have reviews written. So I guess maybe that's not trustworthy either, but I do love this. And yeah, those are my top five favorite Amika products. If you have any questions about any products that I didn't mention, feel free to ask down below. If I have an opinion on them, I will totally let you know. I have used pretty much their entire line. The only things that I haven't used are the things from their curl range because I don't have curly hair. Um, I don't really know how I would incorporate those products if I don't have curly hair. If you know a way, if, if you know a reason, let me know. Um, and I haven't used one of their hair masks. I think it's called The Cure, I think. Oh yeah, by the way, I have an affiliate code with Amika because I'm an ambassador. It does not apply 
to this shampoo because you cannot get it on their website. You can get this at Sephora. It, out of all of these things, I recommend this the most, to be completely honest. It is something that I can never live without, and it's for 10% off of your purchase. And uh, if you're interested in that, it's Mod Young, all one word. I'll put it maybe on the screen, and uh, I will also list it down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all on Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.